What's going on YouTube? So while a lot of brands have been focusing only on their SUV offerings, Acura has paid a lot of attention to their sedans in the last year. And the most recent addition to that is the 2024 Acura TLX, which is refreshed with new exterior styling, a lot of updated technology, but still that same glorious V6 under the hood. So is this the luxury sports sedan to buy? Let's go ahead and find out. All right, so the fitting place to begin things is under the hood because the Type S, of course, has a special engine. That engine is a three liter turbocharged V6 engine. Power output on this is 355 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque, which is a substantial improvement of about 80 horsepower over the standard model. All models have a 10-speed automatic transmission. If you choose this Type S variant, you're going to have standard SH all-wheel drive. Fuel economy comes in at 21 MPG combined. Now, of course, this is a refresh, so we're going to want to take a look at the updated exterior design. And then later on in the review, we're going to show you the performance out on the road and get things like our sound level reading. So let's close up the hood and get to it. Now, when it comes to the exterior design, the TLX has always had a really nice look to it, and especially when you choose the Type S. This is obviously going to be your top trim level in the lineup. This is the highest performance option, and Acura shows you that by giving you some exclusive design elements. And also for 2024, of course, there are some refreshed bits as well. One of the things that this TLX has for 2024 is the frameless diamond pentagon grille. This is a new design characteristic that we first saw integrated into the Integra. Now we see that here with the TLX, and I think it looks quite nice. With the Type S, full gloss black finish. We also have the special open surface um, finish in the center here, which gives it a special look as compared to the A-Spec. Down below, we have more aggressive lower diffuser. Of course, plenty of places for the air to get inside to the engine. And then let's take a look at our headlights. These are your signature Acura design. So you've got that nice jewel eye look going across there. You have your daytime running light and your turn signal indicator, both in that chicane shape. No fog lights on this Type S model. Now, punctuating the aggressive exterior design, we have 20-inch Berlina black alloy wheels on board. As you can see, these have that nice Y-spoke design. You can also get a copper finish if you want as well. And one of the things I like about this Y-shape is the fact that we have plenty of space to show off those nice red brake calipers. These are 14.3-inch Brembo brakes. Now, as we move on from that, of course, you have Type S branding up here on the fender. The mirrors are also going to be finished in a gloss black, and we do have heating as well as blind spot monitoring and power folding. Now, here at the side of the Type S TLX, we're going to come in at an overall length of 194.6 inches long, which is a little bit longer than a lot of those main competitors like the BMW M340i. Now, as far as your safety systems are concerned, I do want to go ahead and dive into this because for 2024, we are seeing some improvements. Uh, you are still going to have all four active safety features as standard equipment. However, it's utilizing a new radar um, in the windshield itself as opposed to the previous millimeter radar in the grill, which had a little bit of a funky look to the front design. But guys, there are a lot of tech enhancements on the inside as well, so let's dive into that. But first, if you're new here, we're brothers, and we've been reviewing cars since we were 12 and 16. We may be young, but we love cars. <laughs> and we'd love for you to subscribe to be a part of our Car Confections family. Let's learn a lot, have some fun with all the latest cars. Now let's go ahead and check out the interior first, of course. Take a quick look at the key fob. This is the Typical Acura Q fob, but as you can see, we do have special Type S branding. You also get this red stripe that goes around the outside edge. This is a smart entry system, and then you also have a remote start built into the fob itself. Getting inside, just grab behind the handle. That will unlock the door and fold the mirrors outward. And then let's take a look inside at this cabin. So let me get those headlights off so they stop beeping. Um, as you can see, we continue to have fundamentally, you know, the same really sporty design that the TLX has always had, but there are a lot of different details that have been improved for 2024 that we're going to talk about. But 
Before we get into all of that, let's first talk about the seats. So with the Type S, of course, you're going to have sport seats. Those are going to be standard equipment. And you've got the choice between red, black, or you can also get an exclusive white color. This is a very nice looking seat. I love how they do the leather. And then you have the suede insert running through the center. Type S is up there in the headrest itself. Nice thick bolsters as well. And the black piping that runs down the outside edges. The seats themselves are going to have 16 ways of adjustment. So you can even adjust the side bolsters and do a power thigh extension as well. And then memory seats will be located right there on the door trim. But let's go ahead and get inside. Now let's look around at the cabin materials as a whole. We'll start out over here with our door trim. As you can see, armrest will be finished in a nice red leather. We also have more of a leather material through here with the stitching detail. It's going to be soft touch plastic along the top and we have a genuine textured aluminum that makes up the majority of our door trim. Now as we go to the upper part of the dash, this will be all soft touch plastic up here. Full leatherette covering up here with the stitching detail. More of that through here. And then we have this kind of curved textured aluminum that runs through the center section. No padding along the console though. Now let's go ahead and fire it up with the push button start. Now up until this point, I haven't talked much about the different trim levels, but one of the noteworthy things that Acura did for 2024 is the fact that they got rid of the advanced trim level. And really in its place, what they've done is basically take those fancy features that used to be only on the advanced and kind of package them in now with this Type S. You'll see that when you are up here in the front, first of all, because we now have a head-up display on this Type S. We've got a nice big head-up display. This is the latest version that Acura has made. So as you can see, it's really quite large. When I adjust it up and down, you can put a lot of different kinds of information inside of it as well. And then we also have another tech improvement up here because we now have the full digital 12.3 inch gauge cluster. So you can reconfigure this. It changes with the drive modes, all the things that other Acura vehicles such as the MDX have been doing for a couple years now. Now as we pull back to the steering wheel, you're going to see a nice aggressive flat bottom steering wheel, good thick bolsters on board so it feels quite nice in the hand. Again, like I said, flat bottom and Type S branding. I will say it's not heated and you do have manual tilt and telescoping and then also the, the uh, wipers are going to be rain sensing. All right, so let's take a look at interior storage next. Um, Acura and Honda as a whole, they're very good at packaging. So as you can see, we still have a pretty decently sized center console inside of here. You also have a regular USB and a USB-C. And because this is car confections, that's why it's loaded with donuts, because we have a donut emblem and we like to do the donut test. And inside of here, there's going to be nine donuts, which is a good performance in this segment. Up in front of that, you have this large pad which is a wireless phone charging pad, of course. And then you've got your two cup holders. There's no like storage bin up here in the front, but on both sides of the console here, we do have these little cubbies where we can stick objects. Now, up in this area, you can see that we do have our uh, kind of remote touch pad here. We also have our volume knob for the audio system. The Type S is going to come with an ELS Studio sound system. And let's go ahead and give it a sample. Yeah, as you can probably tell from that sound sample a little bit, it is a very high quality sound system. It really portrays the uh, music quite well. A lot of bass as well when you're playing a song like that that has a lot of bass. All right, so let's return our focus back into this center area here. We continue to have our uh, push button style Acura shifter. Press down for drive. You do have paddle shifters up here on the steering wheel. Um, they're not the full size, which is kind of interesting. They're just kind of up here on this top section. Nevertheless, you can shift manually and then, of course, pull that trigger. That will put you in reverse. Now, here's one of the things I want to point out. The Type S now has this 360 degree camera system. Um, and as you can see, it has been updated to have this really nice crisp resolution. You have active trajectory front and rear parking sensors as well. 
and then just press the P for park. You also have an electronic parking brake as well. One of the things that continues to be nice about the TLX is the fact that we have a lot of analog controls for, for things. So you can just physically touch uh, buttons here to adjust your temperature with your dual zone automatic climate control setup, nice and easy. We also will have three stage heated seats on every single TLX. Ventilated seats come on the Type S. Both of them run automatically by pressing that button. And then of course you've got that central mounted uh, dynamic mode controller so that gets you go through the different drive modes. We'll do that later on in the test drive. All right, so now let's focus up here with our display. Uh, this is going to be one of the new and improved elements for 2024. You might notice that it is a good deal larger. That's because it's now 12.3 inches versus the previous one, which was about 10 inches. Um, overall, the ex software experience is going to be very similar. So I think the important thing a lot of you guys will probably want to know is, is this a touchscreen now? It is not. Uh, it's, you're still going to have to use this uh, true touchpad controller down here for the one-to-one -one ratio. Um, you can swipe between the different segments there and you get a little jingle bell effect that kind of reminds me of Santa Claus or something like that. You do have built-in navigation and importantly we have wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay now uh, running wirelessly so you don't have to plug in with your wire. Now taking a look up top, auto dimming mirror with three Homelink Universal remotes, full LED lighting of course, and if we press that button, that will open up our standard size sunroof. Uh, you cannot get a panoramic sunroof though. All right, guys, so let's dive into the rear area of this refreshed TLX. Now, the first thing that we like to start with uh, in our car confections rear seat area is the rear dimensions. How big is this TLX compared to some of the rivals? Well, we're sitting at about 34.9 inches of legroom, about 36 inches of headroom. Now, as far as how that compares to a lot of those rivals, this actually is going to be on the smaller end. Despite being larger dimensionally, um, it actually is going to be pretty small back here in the rear seat area. So keep that in mind. Now, of course, here at Car Confections, we want to get all the measurements for you. So if you want to see how much knee room you have, I'm five foot nine, and this seat is adjusted to Drew, who's five foot eight. So that's probably around the average size adult. So we're sitting around five inches of spare knee room. My feet can um, barely tuck up underneath the seat just a little bit. And overall, I feel pretty comfortable back here. The seats are very soft and supportive, but the headroom, my hair is starting to brush the ceiling. So do keep that in mind. As far as features, we have standard vents on this model. Dropping below that, new for 2024, we have USB Type-C ports for charging, which I really like. That's a big improvement. I believe previously it didn't have USB ports. And then here in the center, we have two cup holders, a little storage cubby. One of the things that I'm a little disappointed to see is that there are no heated rear seats on this model. So regardless of which trim level you get, even this fully loaded Type-S, no heated rear seats. Over here on the door trim, we're going to have a nicely appointed one. Soft touch on the upper part, leatherette all through the center. We have that nice metal speaker grill uh, up in front of that. We have a little bit of bottle storage as well. However, it will not fit a Stanley water bottle. I'm going to start doing this little thing, see if you guys like it. Stanley water bottle test. I know it's the new Rage in water bottles. Does not fit in the door trim of this. And let's go ahead and check out the cargo area real quick. So in order to open it up, there is a button integrated in the right tail light, and it is nicely dampened, so it just kind of pops up and out of the way. As far as the space is concerned back here, 13 and a half cubic feet is your official cargo measurement. That's a pretty good amount of space in this TLX. Um, it is going to be a little bit less than some of those rivals, though, that might be a slightly bigger. Um, one of the things I do want to point out, though, is you're probably looking at it right now. You see that brace um, here for the Type S. We get that special brace. Of course, that's going to help you when it comes to your driving dynamics, but that's certainly going to impede when it comes to, uh, you know, being able to uh, fit stuff back here. The seats do still fold 60-40 split, but you have to definitely contend with that brace back there. Now, when I get the cargo length measure, so if you're looking to fit something specific in here. We're looking at an overall cargo length of around 42 inches long on average. And then as far as the uh, overall cargo opening, it's about 38 inches wide. Not the most uh, practical choice, of course. If you need the most practicality, I would suggest getting an MDX Type S. And then underneath of the floor here, you will uh, not find a spare tire on any TLX. But I know you guys are excited to take it out in a spin, and I am too, so let's go ahead and get to that. 
Well, guys, here we are behind the wheel of the refreshed TLX Type S. I am so excited for this drive. Um, of course, we're going to be talking about quite a few different things, but first we're going to go ahead and start with a hard acceleration, which I am very excited to show you what this powertrain is all about. <laughs> all right, there's some acceleration foiled by this red light there but that means we got to do it twice <laughs> true so to remind you guys what we said in the spec dump of course this has a three liter turbo charged v6 engine as opposed to the regular model which is going to be running with a four cylinder this has 355 horsepower 354 pound feet of torque just like it did last year <laughs> <laughs> there was yeah. about up to 60 miles an hour. Yeah, you like not, not bad, <laughs> not bad. Does have a unique uh, engine note as well. And I went ahead because this is a Type S, just straight to Sport Plus mode. That way we could, uh, you know, get the full acceleration and hear the full extent of the <laughs> exhaust note. Oh, they've done a phenomenal job with the exhaust on this Type S TLX. I believe Mason mentioned it on the outside, but of course this is a adaptive exhaust. <laughs> I I really love this exhaust, nice. I have to say. Um, you know, some of the other uh, Type S products, uh, namely the MDX, you know, although it has the exact same engine under the hood, it does not have this exhaust system. This exhaust system is night and day <laughs> from what you get in the MDX. It just sounds so good. Um, you know, and this vehicle has some stiff competition, I'm not going to lie. Uh, you know, going up against it is the M340i with the... Uh, B58 engine, phenomenal exhaust setup on that. So I'm very happy to see that Acura is really bringing their A-game when it comes to the exhaust and how this vehicle sounds because that's really one of the main reasons you buy a car like this. Now as we slowly accelerate up, I do want to talk about the transmission. We have a 10-speed automatic transmission on board. I have to say, really, especially here in the Sport Plus mode, very crisp, well-done shifts. Um, you don't have to wait at all. It really snaps them off quite fast. I definitely like that aspect of it. You can kind of hear that happening as yeah. I come to a stop here. Yeah, very good transmission. It also does have standard SH all-wheel drive. So with this refreshed TLX, they've kind of streamlined the you know trim structure a lot to make it a little bit more simple. So Type S is your top of the line model. Then you of course have the A spec that also has SH all-wheel drive. Um, but the very base technology model is going to be front-wheel drive. It does not have all-wheel drive, and you cannot get it on that trim level. Now Mason was mentioning super handling all wheel drive and I think it is worth talking about the fact that it is rear biased on this model. So it actually can send up to 70% of the available torque to the rear wheels. Obviously that of course gives you a little bit more of that rear drive feel yeah. um, versus you know some of the things that this model is, is going against like the C43 AMG, the M340i, those types of models. And I think, uh, you know, when you're going around some corners and stuff, it does have a really nice dynamic feel. I remember the last time uh, that we were behind the wheel, we quite enjoyed the overall uh, handling of this model. And that continues with this 2024 model. It's just really sharp, really crisp. It feels well balanced. Steering, I like how responsive it is. And you do have a good grip as well from these uh, tires. You can immediately tell when you go into the normal drive mode uh, just how much yeah. quieter the exhaust gets and we're going to do that because we're going to get a sound level reading here in just a second. Still sounds pretty good even in the normal mode when yeah, accelerating sure. but it's definitely Sport Plus is the one to be in for me. Let's go ahead and get that sound level reading. Fan speed is on one. It's 
55.5 decibels is our official sound level reading going 55 miles per hour. So I guess it's the day of fives. Um, uh, you know, that's a very good sound level reading, but I don't have to sit here and guess because I can actually go to carconfections.com slash new car quotes. And on our website, we posted all the sound level readings that we've ever done. Um, so certainly lots of uh, sound level readings here. Now, as far as how that compares to the competition, that is going to be uh, the third quietest that we've ever tested out in this segment. Um, it slots in just above the uh, other Acura TLX that we tested out, the 2021 example. So certainly a very quiet cabin for this model. And, you know, I do also want to just talk about your ride quality as well and the everyday livability aspects of this vehicle because even though this is the Type S model, I think really one of the beautiful elements about it is that it does have that dual character. We talk about that a lot when it comes to this segment because they are very good at having a dual character, meaning you can have a lot of fun out on a back road. You can listen to that awesome exhaust note, but if you don't want to hear it, you can throw it into normal mode and it really behaves exactly like a luxury sedan should. You have very impressive ride quality because of that adaptive uh, suspension. So it, of course, changes the suspension setup depending on what drive mode you're in. And, you know, I also think that these seats are just very, very comfortable. And overall, even despite having the large wheels, it has a very comfortable suspension setup. Now, we do also want to discuss the fuel economy for this model. Um, the Type S is, of course, going to come in a little bit lower than the regular versions of the TLX, 1925, 21 MPG combined. So not great fuel economy. Um, you know, this is a sedan, um, so 21 MPG is going to hurt a little bit. It also does run on premium fuel, I believe, so uh, it's going to be a little bit pricey to uh fuel this thing, um, it is going to slot in quite a bit less than something like a BMW M340i, uh, for instance, as well. Now that they added that mild hybrid setup to that model, it does get significantly better fuel economy. I believe it's around 25 mpg. And now it's time for us to get into our Car Confections Slam Dunk and Air Ball, which is our favorite and least favorite element about this refreshed TLX. Drew, what's our favorite element about it? Uh, that today is going to be um, the kind of performance feel behind the wheel it really is a nice balance between you know not being like too incredibly aggressive but also being a real joy behind the wheel to drive and it also sounds nice with I, that adaptive uh, exhaust i love the sound of it now uh, as far as the air ball is concerned um although they did update the tech for 2024 with this new larger screen i like that uh with the wireless abilities still not a touch screen I, Acura, I wish they'd just give it up. <laughs> Let us have a touch screen. Uh, people want touch screens. Um, and I think that that's just kind of a miss to update the tech and still not have a touch screen. It's just something that I think here in 2024, a lot of buyers are looking for. And as far as the last things to discuss here, I do want to talk about the warranty. It's going to be uh, Acura Signature Warranty, which is lo longer than most of the competition for your 50,000 miles for your basic. Uh, powertrain is going to be a six years, 70,000 miles. Um, and you do also get two years of complimentary maintenance, which was a new feature Acura added uh, not too long ago. Now let's talk pricing for the 2024 TLX. Now, as far as the uh, pricing for the entire lineup, I can put those on the screen right now. However, the Type S model, which is the top dog, uh, TLX is going to start at 57 grand this year, which represents around a you know a $1,750 price increase over the 2023 model. Once we add in the optional paint plus the 11.95 destination, we're sitting at 58.795 as tested today. Now, if you're looking to buy an Acura TLX or any new vehicle, we would encourage you to go to carconfections.com slash new car quotes. Now, why you'd go to our website is because we have a tool on there that will connect you with local dealers in your area to get you the best price on your new vehicle. It's also going to give you access to invoice pricing information, which is a great tool for dealer negotiation. If you'd like to take advantage of that, a link is provided in our video description. And guys, that's going to be it for our in-depth look at the 2024 Acura TLX Type S. Now, of course, this refresh TLX has a lot of new features. And if you enjoyed us going through all those changes and stuff, we would really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button down below. By subscribing, you help us to make more car reviews like this. And, you know, of course, by subscribing, you also help give us more opportunities like this to drive this TLX. If you're already a part of our family, thank you so much for your continued support. And we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.